fucking beat. So good. Bitch, we going. Put him up. Let's do whack it with something. It's going to come at me. I didn't even know if I wanted this world. I didn't even know what I was. I just know I got tired of wanting to record and not having a place to record. And I thought about it a couple times. I'm like, well, we used to record at Nick's house. I used to try to, we used to practice. It was Nick's house. I went to Trenton. And it took probably like, I guess a year and some change later on for me to actually get back into the studio. And that's when I met Block in 2014, like the beginning of 2014. Yo, if Nick tell you four years ago or four and a half years ago, we were sitting in the car, it was me, Morgan, and Nick, and we were smoking. And I'm like, yo, I'm gonna buy this equipment. And I ain't had no money to my motherfucking name. And what did I do after work? I don't know how it happened. I didn't give up, but I had enough money to get the microphone and everything to get me started. Even though they told me not to spend that money, Nick was like, all right, I told you not to do it, but I'm still gonna come with you. He got in the car. I didn't even use it for the first three days. I came back here and he was cooking. Like, I think it was like fried chicken or pork chops and I was sitting right there <laughs> and I just set up everything. He came with me, went to the person, met a fucking awesome person. He saw the equipment and he was like, dude. And that's all he said, <laughs> that's all I remember him saying. Just... And I'm like, yo, dude, this shit sounds clear as fuck. Oh, then he was like, this is better than the headphones and the computer. I was like, yes, sir. We came a long way. Then ever since then, it was just like, I came infatuated with learning, like sounding better. How, like, just because I got this equipment, why don't I sound like the radio? And I was just like, why is that? Like, what do I need to learn that I don't know?